Hi, this is Guy, and this is Little Shelf Guy. Guy, a couple of months ago, my cousin visited with me for a few days, and I am now getting eaten by bed bugs. Can you give me a quick fix for that? I'm very sorry, my little shelf friend, but there are no quick fixes for bed bugs. Unfortunately, bed bugs are just one of those pests that are just hard to get rid of, and you are going to need to do some work. The first thing you need to know is that if you want to get rid of the bed bugs, then it is critical to understand how they operate. The biggest reason people fail to eliminate bed bugs is because they do not understand the biology. So, if you are watching this, please do not skip through this part of the video, because if you do, you stand very little chance of success. I promise, though, this won't take long to explain. In 2023 alone, I saved people over $100 million on their pest control needs. And if you keep watching, I can save you money too. The first thing you need to know is that just like us, for bed bugs to survive, they need to eat. Unfortunately, you are their favorite restaurant. As it turns out, one of the best things you can do is to starve the bed bugs to death and keep them from breeding. If they cannot eat, then they cannot breed and they cannot survive. That sounds easy enough. So let's just starve them to death. I know that sounds easy, but there is one slight problem with this approach. You see, a bed bug can live up to 400 days without eating. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do that? So, obviously, simply starving them to death is not the best strategy. However, it is a very good idea to deny them food for two very good reasons. First, if you can successfully deny them food, then they will not breed and they will eventually die. Second, you probably don't want to get eaten by bed bugs anyway, now do you? Another thing you need to know about bed bugs is that they do not just exist in your bed. They got their name because they climb into bed with you to take a blood meal. And while it is true that lots of them do live in your bed, many do not. If you have any hope of getting rid of your bed bugs, you must understand that these guys are very good at hiding and they can be hiding anywhere in the room. Wait a minute. Let me stop you right there. I thought bed bugs just hung out in the bed. Where else will I find these guys? Hey, like I said, it is true that bed bugs got their name from dining in the bed. But you can also find them behind your headboard, inside your dressers, under baseboards, in your nightstands, in bookshelves, and pretty much any other place you can imagine. For that reason, you cannot simply treat the bed and the area around it. You must treat everything in the room. And I mean everything. Okay. So if bed bugs can hang out in places other than the bed, does that mean they can be in other rooms as well? Absolutely. You should also know that bed bugs do not simply exist in the bedrooms. That's right. Bed bugs can exist throughout your entire home, including the dining room and kitchen. So when you are treating for bed bugs, you must leave nothing untreated. All it takes is for a couple of eggs to hatch and you'll have another bed bug infestation. These eggs are really small too, and they are about the size of a pinhead. So they are very easy to miss. Listen, a female bed bug can lay up to five eggs a day and up to 500 eggs in her lifetime. 
So they breed very fast. Therefore, thoroughness is the key. Finally, you should know that bed bugs primarily feed at night, but they do not need to. If you have bed bugs in your couch, they could decide to dine on you during the day. That is yet another reason why you cannot allow them to spread throughout your house. As soon as you know that you have bed bugs, you need to treat them immediately or they are going to spread throughout your entire home. Okay, I get it. Bed bugs are bad. Now, how about telling me how to treat them? I saw a couple of videos already that show you how to do it naturally and really fast. So I tried some of that stuff, but it didn't work. What am I doing wrong? Okay, my little panicky friend. You need to calm down and listen up. Now that you know a little bit about the biology of bed bugs, let's talk about how to treat them correctly. I know that there are a lot of videos out there that will show you how to treat bed bugs naturally. And there are all sorts of products that you can buy locally at the big box stores for bed bugs. But you need to know that none of this stuff really works effectively. If you are serious about eliminating bed bugs, then you need to do it right. And that means using real pesticides in addition to mechanical treatments. So here's how you do it. I mentioned earlier that bed bugs like to feed at night. And the reason they got their name is because, well, they like to hang out in your bed. Hmm, nothing creepy about that, right? I also mentioned that you need to deny them food. Therefore, the first thing you need to do is treat the bed. And please note that I did not say to throw the bed away. A lot of people have that knee-jerk reaction to get rid of the infested bed, but that is the absolute worst thing that you can do. Instead of throwing the bed away, we need to convert it into a safe zone that the bed bugs cannot possibly get on. This is going to achieve two goals. It will deny the bed bugs a food source and it will prevent you from getting eaten, at least while you're asleep. Okay, I like the sound of that. So how do I do that exactly? Well, the way you do this is you need to treat everything from the floor to the top of the mattress with steam and pesticides. Begin by vacuuming the floor in the entire room, except for under the bed. After vacuuming the floor, you need to vacuum the mattress. Vacuum all surfaces of the mattress, paying particular attention to the tufts, seams, and any buttons that may be on the mattress as well. After vacuuming, you need to treat the mattress using a steamer that is designed for cleaning and not for taking wrinkles out of clothes. Steamers that are designed for cleaning surfaces are going to do a much faster and better job. And the idea is that you don't want to fool around with bed bugs. Put the steamer on its highest setting and steam virtually every part of that mattress. This would include all the surfaces, seams, buttons, and tufts of the mattress. Leave no stones unturned. Thoroughness is the key to success, so do a very good job with the steamer. After you finish steaming, then apply Bedlam Plus insecticide in all the tufts, buttons, and folds on the mattress. This product has a two-week residual that will take out the bed bugs that the steamer may have missed. Next, Mix up some Crossfire and Gentrol IGR in a 32 ounce spray bottle and lightly spray all surfaces on the mattress. You can mix 3.25 ounces of Crossfire and 7.4 milliliters of Gentrol IGR to 28.5 ounces of water. This combination of Crossfire 
and the gentral IGR will not only kill the existing bed bugs, but it will prevent them from reproducing. I use these measuring syringes that allow for easy and accurate measuring of small amounts of concentrate. As soon as you have finished doing this, then remove the mattress from the bed and stand it up against the wall. Now treat the bottom side of the mattress the same exact way that you treated the rest of it. After you are finished, seal the mattress in an airtight mattress bag. Make sure that there are no holes where a bed bug can get in or out. So, seal up the end of the zipper with a piece of duct tape. Quick question. You said that the bed bugs could live 400 days without eating. So, will the mattress covers last that long? Great question. You can buy the plastic mattress covers or you can get the ones that are made out of a fabric material that will be sturdier and will hold up for a longer period of time. I don't think I need to tell you which one of those choices I would select. When it comes to bed bugs, my recommendation is not to mess around. As soon as you are finished with the mattress, go ahead and treat the box spring. Just as with the mattress, you need to treat absolutely every place where a bed bug can possibly hide. Vacuum and steam all surfaces. Treat the top and sides of the box spring with crossfire that is mixed with gentral IGR. Remove the box spring from the bed and treat the bottom as well. If the bottom has a knitting on it, completely remove it. As always, you want to vacuum, steam, and treat absolutely every place a bed bug can possibly hide. That means you need to treat the inside of the box spring and treat all cracks and crevices with Bedlam Plus insecticide. Next, spray all surfaces inside the box spring with a mixture of Crossfire, Gentrol IGR, and Diatomaceous Earth. Mix 6.5 ounces of Crossfire with one half ounce of Gentrol IGR and 1.75 cups of diatomaceous earth with 57.5 ounces of water in a pump-up garden sprayer and spray all the surfaces inside the box spring. The reason for adding the diatomaceous earth is because it lasts forever or until you remove it. This way, you don't need to keep reapplying pesticides every couple of weeks. Keep in mind though, that you should not mix more than you are going to use for the day. You should shake this mixture often so that the diatomaceous earth remains suspended in the liquid. It is also a good idea to puff diatomaceous earth in all the cracks and crevices under the box spring. After treatment, enclose the box spring in a plastic bag just like you did for the mattress. Just to be clear, since you said that bed bugs can live 400 days without eating, does that mean I should keep the mattress and the box spring in the bags for that long? Yes, in fact, I recommend leaving the mattress and box spring in the plastic bags for at least 18 months. Now it is time to treat the entire bed frame. Set the box spring up against the wall, and if you have a headboard, remove it from the frame. After doing that, vacuum all surfaces of the frame and then wash everything with soap and water. Now steam all surfaces on the highest setting. Then go ahead and spray everything with a mixture of Crossfire, Gentrol IGR, and Diatomaceous Earth. Now vacuum the headboard and treat it with the steamer. You need to vacuum all possible hiding places on that headboard and then you need to steam every single surface on that headboard as well. And make sure that you do a really good job on all cracks and crevices and steam every nook and cranny of that headboard. Remember that a bed bug can hide in a crack the width of a credit card. So do a really good job. Next, you need to spray inside all cracks and crevices in that headboard with Bedlam Plus Insecticide. Now that you have the cracks and crevices treated, you need to spray all surfaces on that headboard with a mixture of Crossfire 
gentral IGR, and diatomaceous earth. Wait a minute. That diatomaceous earth can look really bad when you spray it on surfaces. Suppose I don't want to look at diatomaceous earth all the time. You make a good point. If you do not like the look of the diatomaceous earth, then just use a mixture of crossfire and gentral IGR on the surfaces that can be seen and use the diatomaceous earth mixture on surfaces that cannot be seen. Now, put the headboard in the garage or store it someplace where it's going to be out of the way. I recommend that you do not replace the headboard because you don't want bed bugs climbing up on that thing and getting into bed with you. Now you need to move the bed frame aside and vacuum the floor where the bed was. Also vacuum under the baseboards as well. Next, Steam the entire floor where the bed was, and steam on and under the baseboard. If you purchase a good steamer, it will come with an attachment just for steaming floors. Trust me, this is worth the extra money. After vacuuming and steaming the floor, you need to apply Bedlam Plus insecticide under the baseboard. Now spray the entire floor under the bed with a mixture of Crossfire, Gentral IGR, and Diatomaceous Earth. You also need to spray the wall from the floor up to the ceiling where the head of the bed is going to be. If you do not like the look of the Diatomaceous Earth, then just use a mixture of Crossfire and Gentral IGR. Remember though, that using the Diatomaceous Earth is going to make the treatment last until you remove it. By treating the wall, any bed bugs that try to crawl up the wall are going to cross either the pesticide that is on the floor or the pesticide that is on the wall. You can now use a handheld duster to apply diatomaceous earth under the baseboard. Now, put the bed frame back in place and make sure that it is at least six inches from the wall. This will make doubly sure that the bed bugs cannot crawl up the wall onto you. Next, place a bed bug trap under each leg of the bed. This will prevent the bed bugs to cross the floor from climbing up on the bed. You can use either the sticky kind or the circular ones that are designed to trap bed bugs. Personally, I like to use the sticky ones on the legs that are easy to reach and the circular ones on the legs that cannot be easily reached. That is because I kind of trust the sticky ones better. Keep in mind though, that if you use the sticky ones, they're going to get dusty and you're going to need to replace them fairly often. Now, go ahead and put the box spring and mattress back in place. Now that you have this finished, you have created a safe place where you cannot get eaten by bed bugs. This will give you the opportunity to get a good night's sleep without fear of being eaten. Now that you have the bed treated, you need to treat the rest of the furniture in the room and the floor. Always make sure that you have no furniture touching the bed. Also make sure that you have nothing stored under the bed either. You vacuumed the floor earlier, so now use the steamer to steam the entire floor of the room. Make sure that you steam under all the furniture. Move all the furniture away from the wall and vacuum and steam on and under the baseboards. Now apply Bedlam Plus insecticide under all the baseboards. Then puff diatomaceous earth under the baseboards as well. After finishing the baseboards, you can start treating any nightstands that are next to the bed. You need to take everything out of the nightstands, remove any drawers, and vacuum all surfaces. Pay particular attention to where the parts of the nightstand meet. Next, make sure that you steam all the surfaces as best as you can, paying particular attention to the cracks and crevices and areas where the parts meet. Treat all cracks and crevices 
with Bedlam Plus insecticide and spray all surfaces with the mixture of Crossfire, Gentrol IGR, and Diatomaceous Earth. Again, if you do not like the look of the Diatomaceous Earth, then do not spray areas that are visible. Instead, use the mixture of Crossfire and Gentrol IGR. Now, move on to the dressers. Just like the nightstands, everything needs to come out of the dressers. Put all your clothes in plastic bags and seal it up tight. Take it to your washing machine and wash everything with hot water. You need to make sure that you put all clothes in the dryer on high heat for at least 30 minutes. After your clothes are dry, put them in a clean plastic bag and seal it up tight. You should live out of plastic bags until the bed bugs are gone. Now treat the dresser the exact same way as you did the nightstand. Don't forget that there is a backside of the nightstands and dressers too, so be sure to catch everything. Remove all outlet covers and switch plates and puff diatomaceous earth in the outlet boxes and in the wall voids as well. Now use a pump-up garden sprayer and spray the entire floor with a mixture of Gentrol IGR and diatomaceous earth. If you have hard surface floors, you can use a mop to apply this mixture. Mix one ounce of Gentrol IGR and 3.5 cups of diatomaceous earth with 100 ounces of water in a pump-up garden sprayer. I have another question. I heard that diatomaceous earth lasts forever. Does that mean I never need to reapply it? Well, yes and no. The diatomaceous earth lasts forever or until you remove it. So you need to retreat the floors every time you vacuum a mop. Also, if you remove it from the other surfaces when you clean, then you need to reapply it there as well. Now that you have this stuff treated, vacuum and steam the backs of all pictures and other wall hangings. Then spray tempered FX mixed with Gentrol IGR onto the back side of these items. If you have curtains or blinds on the windows, then you need to treat them the same way. You have now created a bed bug free room. Any bed bugs that survive vacuuming and steaming will not survive the pesticides for long. Do this procedure for all bedrooms in your home. Now you need to treat the living room. Remember that there are probably bed bugs in the upholstered furniture, like the couch and recliner. You are going to treat these items much the same way as the bed. Make sure that you vacuum everything, paying particular attention to the seams and under the cushions if they are removable. Then steam everything. You can apply the Bedlam Plus insecticide into all seams of the furniture. Now apply a mixture of Crossfire, Gentrol IGR, and Diatomaceous Earth to all surfaces on the furniture where you will not make contact with it. For example, you can apply it under and on the back of the furniture. You can also apply it under cushions as well. Again, if you do not like the look of the diatomaceous earth, then do not spray areas that are visible and just use the mixture of Crossfire and Gentrol IGR for visible areas only. Place sticky traps under all the legs on the upholstered furniture. Just like the bedrooms, you need to treat all of the furniture in the house as well, using the same procedure that I showed you for treating the nightstands in the bedrooms. You also need to treat the floors and the baseboards the same way as you did in the bedrooms as well. Remember, reapply diatomaceous earth mixed with water and Gentrol IGR on the floors every time that you vacuum or mop them. After you do the living room, then move on to the dining room, kitchen, and other rooms in the house. Always assume that the bed bugs are everywhere. So in the kitchen, be sure to treat behind all the appliances and around the baseboards. The truth is that the bed bugs are not commonly seen in kitchens, 
but they still may be there if you have a serious infestation. Naturally, you need to vacuum everything and steam everything as well. Apply Bedlam Plus insecticide in all cracks and crevices. Also apply the mixture of Crossfire, Gentral IGR, and Diatomaceous Earth everywhere that it makes sense to you based on the information I already provided. As always, if you do not like the look of the diatomaceous earth, then just apply the mixture of Crossfire and Gentral IGR to surfaces that can be seen and apply the diatomaceous earth mixture to surfaces that cannot be seen. Keep in mind though that the diatomaceous earth is permanent but the Crossfire and Gentrol IGR are not. So you may need to retreat areas where you did not use diatomaceous earth. Remember, you need to be thorough. Okay. Congratulations, you now have a bed bug free home. Be well, my friends, and thank you so much for watching.